Welcome to the Pocket and Tablet Handicapper tutorial. This informational session will concentrate on the harness racing section of these apps. First we'll take a look at the Pocket Handicapper and then briefly touch on the Tablet Handicapper. The first screen that appears when you launch the app is called the Main Menu. From here you can switch between the breed you wish to handicap by tapping either the Thoroughbred or Harness buttons. Please note the default setting is for Thoroughbred, but Harness users can go into App Settings and change this. The number one option on the menu is called My Race Cards and gives you access to any of the files you have already downloaded. The number two option called Download Race Cards is where you choose a file to download from the list of currently available ones. The number three option is only available for thoroughbred races, so today's scratches will appear deactivated. Horses can still be manually scratched inside of the race. Finally, the number four option, Settings, is where you'll want to enter your ID and password and personalize the way the handicapping data is displayed to you. Downloading a race card is where it all begins. This screen displays all of the files that are currently available for downloading. The default for the sorting is by track name, as shown here. You can also choose to sort the available downloads by race date by tapping on the Date button. The display will look as shown here. After you select and download a race card, the races for the day will appear on the screen. From any of the screens, tapping on the menu icon in the upper right hand corner will bring up the options for you to go to the main menu, settings, or get help for the screen you are currently on. If you wish to switch race cards or change to view a card you have previously downloaded, you will want to choose the number one option called My Race Cards. Your downloads can be sorted by track or date and also alphabetically. The Settings section allows you to customize the way the handicapping data will be displayed. You can choose initial views that best suit your needs. After downloading a race card or choosing a new one from the My Race Card screen, the card will open and all of the races for the day will be displayed. Tapping on one of the rows of the race numbers will open the information for that particular race. The Home tab is the first screen that appears after opening a race. You can access other sections of handicapping info by choosing any of the tab icons at the bottom of the screen. The information on this screen includes each horse's power, speed and class ratings, plus relevant pace information. The Snapshot tab displays a quick overview of the horses in the race. Power ratings, recent earnings, post index and morning line odds are shown. A plus sign, the letter L or the letter B can be appended to the morning line odds. All of these symbols point to a possible good bet today. The Pace tab gives detailed pace information for every horse. It is separated into two sections, Pace Figures or Pace Running Style. The PPs tab gives an abbreviated view of the past performances for each horse. Tapping on a horse's name in the PPs tab brings up the sire, dam, driver, trainer, and owner information. Tapping on any of these names displayed will bring up detailed information for that participant. The trainer information is displayed here as an example of the extra stats that can be obtained when you tap a participant's name. You can also access this same data while on the Home tab. The PDF PPs tab provides the condensed past performances in a PDF format. You can use your fingers to enlarge the view and make the past performances more readable. You can then use your finger to move the PDF page around to view the different parts of the running lines. Turning the Pocket Handicapper sideways on your mobile device to view in landscape mode lets you view more information on the screen. All the exact same information and features we have covered so far for the Pocket Handicapper can also be found in the Tablet Handicapper. The only difference is that the navigation for the Tablet Handicapper has been optimized for an iPad or Android tablet's larger screen resolution. The PDF PPs are also much easier to read on a tablet versus the small screen of a smartphone. Thanks for checking out our Pocket and Tablet Handicapper tutorial. Be sure to use the help guide in the app to get even more information. The Pocket and Tablet Handicapper apps are quick and handy tools for picking winners no matter where you happen to be. Good luck.